We have one minute left and we still need eight people to leave. Wow, yeah, I bet you just confident. I fuck with it. Like, what? Who leaving? What? I ain't leaving. Fuck wrong with you. So, those are the facts. <laughs> <laughs> so, eight people. You gotta get out. I wouldn't be doing this, so. Five more. wonder how others perceive our bodies and we're constantly comparing ourselves and our body types today we're asking a hundred women to decide which person here has the where the baddies where's the baddies where's the baddies where's the baddies oh wait she's kind of best body every single person here submitted a full body photo for our online community to rank only one woman was voted best body let's see if they can find one. All right, man. So first and foremost, let's get the for sure not number ones out the way. Let's get the for sure number ones out the way. Let's get the two skinnies and the two fats. Let's get y'all up. Pack y'all up. For this quick. round, the people who believe they ranked in the bottom ten must exit. When watch, watch old bitches want to leave. Watch old bitches want to leave, bro. They, they, oh no, I'm not cute. No, bitch, you cute. The fuck? Look at you. You all that. The fuck? That's how bitches gonna move. You do leave. Please exit by pressing the counter and stepping aside. Your time starts now. I honestly wish that society's viewing of like body types didn't change back from like the Renaissance era. Mm -hmm. My body shape is so like goddess shape. Yes. And, like, somebody will want me to pose for their painting in the Renaissance. Yeah. You know what I mean? I did feel confident going in. She been sitting on that for so long. She been wanting to say that for so long, bruh. In the reason as to why is because I do have a more sought after body type. I have worked for my body, but however, I will not deny the fact that genetics are heavily involved. Also, when it comes to the society ranking us, I've had a lot of comments saying that people would buy my body or people do buy my body. So when it comes to that specific thing, I felt very confident. Like, I don't know that I necessarily feel so confident, like, oh, I have the best body, but I do know, like, objectively, do I get attention? Like, I know I do, so there's, like, a certain, like, objective to, like, what I think. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I'm Jennifer. Um, Damn, what the hell Jennifer got going on? Like, this don't even make sense. It don't make sense for you to have titties that's this big, like, I'm just so confused. Where what? This one? Why do you oh, got okay. G -titties? Hi, I'm Jennifer. When I got when I first got here and I saw that everybody was, I was pretty much the oldest one here, I felt really out of place. Not necessarily insecure, but just the first feeling was just, I don't belong here. So when I was younger, I, was, I had like no curves. I was like super skinny. People call me anorexic or bulimic. And that's like not good in like the black community, right? You want to be like thick, right? You want to be curvy. You want something people grab on. But like as I've gotten older, I have gotten curvier. It's wrong. Yeah. It is. Uh, Sophie, I saw that you just left. Do you want to kind of explain why or share anything about that? Yeah. I've had a very tumultuous relationship with my body. I thought I could do. Bro, how did this turn into this, bro? Like, I guess that was the... Jubilee be on some deep shit, bro. And I don't think everything is that deep. But I guess their platform is making everything that deep. And it is their business to make shit that deep. And, you know, if that's the angle you want to take, cool. But it's not that deep, bro. It's just like, yo, who's fat, who's not? All right, let's go. But I guess that doesn't make for entertaining Do content. This. Everybody's making it a big deal. Everybody's everybody's looking like we're watching tragedies and shit. The body language is just like shit is just tragedies and everybody has been oppressed and shit like that. I don't I don't really know what's going on. Category, but the moment before we started filming, like I just I started shaking and I realized I was just like I don't really know what I look like to other people. And the idea of like talking about that was like a little anxiety inducing. So that's why I was just kind of like I'll be the first one out. Like, I just kind of wanted to sit this one out. There's a brand new way to so travel in style. Tournament. You don't even think that you have the worst body, but you're just insecure. Fair enough, I guess. 
Now Sophia can choose to find out her ranking. Please, I want to know. I want to know. Although it's very tempting to want Show us. If you don't show us, I'm leaving a dislike, I want to give in to this and open this envelope because see. that's something I'm so used to do is comparing myself to others. I am going to make the active decision to not look at it because you, I don't I think it'll do me any good today. Go for so. you, I guess. I'm not gonna open this. <laughs> Let me see. Oh my god. I think I look great and I'm so thankful for what my body can do, which has really helped me practice body positivity. Like, yeah. I'm mobile, I'm standing here, I can walk, I can hike, I can hike, I can swim. Yeah. I'm so grateful for it, but I know society doesn't view me that way. They view yeah. me as like, oh, put down the burger and go to the gym. And put down the burger. Like, you don't know what I'm doing in my personal life. Like, yeah. Sam, I saw that you just left. Can you tell us why you did? Uh, yeah, so I don't necessarily- I guess they're not gonna show everybody. They're gonna show the ones who give non-boring answers. I necessarily feel like I fit into the standard of beauty that uh, people might uh, perceive is like Super attractive. Um, so I see where I have some qualities, but others I don't. When I look around this room, I see all of, like the beautiful attributes of every single like woman that is here. When I was uh, growing up, I had very poor self image. And in high school, I actually like used to keep a mental list of people around me of their attractiveness and how I rated on that scale. And I always rated myself super low and I noted that it was extremely um, detrimental to my like physical and mental health and I felt like uh, I've gotten really good about if something starts to trigger you you need to walk away so I felt uh, inclined to step back so that I could let everyone else have you know the stage to you know, rank themselves. My modeling agency, like, first, like, they, they my flight like, curves, I have curves, so I yeah. have to be a curve model, I have to be more plus size. Some agencies want me to gain more weight because they're, like, saying, like, I want your curves to show more. Yeah. And if I were to do the exact opposite, lose, no matter what, because I have a chest and, like, an ass, I could never be a, what's considered a normal model. Yeah, like, yeah. Never be that. It's either curve or normal. Like, right. <laughs> Jennifer, can you tell us about your thoughts of your body image through divorce, if you feel comfortable? Oh, my, yeah, yeah, I'm all open book. Um, so, it's it's not just the divorce, it's the more just having to be in acceptance as you get older. Because it's not, I was talking to the girls, it's not just like how big you are. It's like I look in the mirror and I'm like, holy there's there's wrinkles there or like my arms and it's just like and how men perceive me yeah. and so it's more like that and my my ex had said to me at one point it doesn't matter what you look like anymore at your age and that's oh, crazy wow. and i don't know if he meant it like good but there was too many other things that just still you know no he probably did mean it because like, yeah men get praised for ages yes and women yes their value goes down yes. yeah. i can i read people really well and so i'm like it was just this constant mirror, you know, yeah. or like going in the store now, single. Yeah. And when I was younger, men actually looked at me. Now I'm invisible. Yeah. I didn't realize how much I, I used to get hit on or I used to get looked at or just, you know, attention and almost that validation. And it just has like altogether stopped. And like I'm putting myself out there and putting myself out there, oh. and which is great, but it's just you know, or even the last two years, because I've gained weight with menopause, and when I see people who haven't seen oh, me, they're used to my old body, and the look of disappointment or the look of surprise oh, when I see people, it's just, it's it, it doesn't feel good, yeah. you know? And so for the body image thing too, I wasn't just thinking like, like most people were about weight, I, I was thinking about wrinkles. Before. I was thinking about this bad haircut I just accidentally got. I was thinking about like more just, you know, that. And then if it's being judged by society, I was like, I'm out first, <laughs> you know, just because I, I haven't had a lot of confidence in that realm. Welcome to round two. In this round, we're asking you to leave if you believe your body is in the bottom 50. So that means 40 people need to leave. You guys have five minutes to leave the group. Your time starts now. I feel like I have been blessed genetically, but at the end of the day... What are we doing here, man? Let's be fucking serious, man. Ebony is tough. I just don't think you're in the top 50, ma'am. No disrespect, ma'am. 
I just don't think that either of you are in the top 50. That's okay, man. The day when I went to college and I gained 40 pounds, I was like, I was the one that had to bring it back, you know? And I feel sometimes guilty for like expressing this in a way, but I don't want to do that because at the end of the day, like, especially when it comes to like my content creation, I've been hurt very deeply because I thought I was putting out content that people would ideal, like, people would aspire to be, and then all I got was men <laughs> just being like so dirty. And it's like, I didn't expect that. And now I'm trying to, you know, like change, I'm trying to be more intentional with my content, but it just sucks. What the fuck does this have to do with the game? Get on with the game, please. It's like, it just yeah. sucks. <laughs> it just sucks. <laughs> like growing up, like people were always telling me like, you're so skinny, like, you need to eat. Like but I was eating and I was like happy, but that made me feel like insecure, especially from being a dancer. And then now that I'm grown, like I kind of grew into my body and I have a more mature build. And now people are like, oh, you're so curvy, like, ooh, body. And I just don't know how to feel anymore because like people went from calling me a bone to like calling me curry. So I feel like media is like also just like brainwashing everyone. I think about my arms every single yeah. second of the day. Hey, yo, risk their lives to have your Type of body. Exactly. Literally yeah. for this body, people yeah. go and build it. And they're real. Everything is, there's no like, I'm not getting anything bad. I think I've grown so much more confident in how I look at my body now, which is why I was able to be confident in the fact that I'm at least top 10. I've struggled a long, for a long time with like, at least my weight 10? and how I look no, and my proportions and whether so my proportions bad. are correct. Okay. But I've come to a place where I I love every bit of proportion, every angle of my body now. Yeah, I, I, I think my body is beautiful. But my main thing about just having a bitter, bigger body, um, it's- Her voice does not match her body at all. That is not the voice that I expected to come out of this body. I expected more of a little bit, a voice that identified with the struggle more. She has like a privileged voice. Her voice just sounds very privileged. She sounds like she lives a soft life, but this haircut is, is like anybody who has this haircut, it has not, is not living a soft life, period. Point blank. If you have this haircut as a woman, and I know people that have this haircut as a woman, and it's all love. And I hate that I even have to say that it's all love because if niggas know me personally, they know it's always coming from love at the end of the day. But if you have this haircut, you're not living a soft life. And that's not to glorify soft life, not to glorify hard life. It's just, the, it's just the facts. And for her to look like this and then come out with this voice out of that He's player beautiful. build. But my main thing about just having a bitter, bigger body, um, it's really that I'm always gonna be negatively perceived. Because like growing up, I was pretty skinny and like never had to think about my weight. I could eat whatever I wanted, never thought about it. But then I hit like 19, 20 and I just started gaining weight. Every day I'm frustrated with myself. I did 10 years ago have a really, really bad eating disorder when I was in high school and I almost died. And it's not something that I feel like gets validated very often because people like think it's like such a non-issue to be worried about being too skinny. There we go. I think I have a pretty good sense of self-awareness and I know that I'm not necessarily what society deems as beautiful or has an ideal body type. I don't think that's a reflection of me though and how I view myself. So if it were a matter of who's the most confident in their body type, I would have stayed all the way to the end, but it's about how other people perceive us. And I just know realistically that there's obviously trolls online and people in America just have a different viewpoint of plus size women. So I decided to leave pretty early on. There we go. <laughs> That's a tough one. That's enough for me to go into my villain arc. You know, that's that's enough for a villain origin story right here. You know, like when the when you know, when I have the superhero tied up and I'm telling him my story, I'm gonna have the death beam pointed at Earth, and when Igudal doesn't make the shot, I'm blowing this bitch up. He's struggling, he's like, Why are you even doing this? And I look at him and I say, What? You say? He says, Why are you even doing this? Like, why? And I look at him and I say, Yo, I was on 
I was on Jubilee. And niggas rated me the 89th most attractive person there. Nigga, do you know how that made me feel? 89th? But when I blow this bitch up, I bet I won't be 89th no more. On God, I bet I won't be 89th no more when I blow this bitch up. Fuck wrong with you? Um, I mean, I'm not surprised. I think I submitted a bikini photo, so I knew I was showing everything that I have. Um, it's what I expect. It's, you know, society's standards, and it's, I'm not most people's ideal body type, and I think that's fine. Um, I think a lot of men vote in this also, and I have a fiance, and I'm a lesbian, so I don't really care what they think. Beautiful. Oh, Jesus. Why is everybody, why is it so fucking sad in here, bruh? Somebody turn up the vibes in here, bruh. It should not be this motherfucking sad in here, bruh. It's just ridiculous how sad it's it is also in this and fucking room. I have a fiance and I'm a lesbian, so I don't really care what they think. God bless you. Literally, God bless you from the bottom of my heart. Why is she looking like, what the fuck's going on? Like, this shit is mad dramatic. Look at her face. She's shook. She's in awe. She's like, yo, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus. It's going to be all these views and I'm crying. My mama going to get me. <laughs> I really thought I could have this conversation with y'all. Because I'm really a, a confident person to my definition. I go out in the world confident, knowing that I'm a child of God and I love Talk people. But my relationship with my body is tainted. And I'm a dancer, and not a, I express that when, like, through movements and somatic exercises that I love to move. But I am a victim of assault and rape. Mm. And I have more of a relationship with my soul than I do with my body. So to stand here and y'all are like, girl, my boobs are this and my butt is this. I don't know, I really have no clue. Like I'm in the mirror, but I'm not really in the mirror. So I just admire all of y'all for being able to acknowledge your beauty. Cause I know it's here, cause y'all see it. But it, the acknowledgement comes from the internal. So I just love that y'all are so open cause it challenges me to go home and like interflect. So I love y'all. I can't recall even saying a word in the circle at all. Um, I had a, like a hyper confidence before walking into the room. Like, this is gonna be easy, I can pretend. And I just couldn't get myself to muster out a single word or answer a single question. I, I walked away because I knew that I didn't have a relationship with my body because I couldn't even pretend that I did. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to open it because... Okay, okay, predict, 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 predict. What do you think out of 100, what is she going to get? <sighs> I didn't really get to see all the bodies, but I guess I would give her, like, 78? 78? I, I think know. that, why not? I'd be wondering forever, right? Right. Um, I go to the grave wondering forever. So what... It's it's seventy five. I was damn so close. I was ranked seventy fifth. So I wasn't in the bottom ten. Okay, well that's nice. <laughs> I feel like if I would have highlighted my boobs or Breast. like done something like that, or Breast. maybe it would have been different. But I really didn't Breast. want to do that because I feel like now that's all I get attention for. Breast. I am appreciative of this because Breast. that's cool because I saw the beautiful women here and there was they were all young 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 so I'm like right away I'm like I'm definitely in the bottom 10 because yeah there's no doubt about it but like so cool thank you we have one minute left and we still need eight people to leave why wow, yeah, I bet you just confident I fuck with it like what who leaving what I ain't leaving fuck wrong with you so, those are the facts. <laughs> <laughs> so, those we have one minute left, and we still need eight people to leave. So, those are the facts. <laughs> <laughs> so, eight people, you gotta get out. I wouldn't be doing this, so. Five 
Come on. Somebody's peeping in. Whew. Welcome to round three. Now we're left with people who believe they have the top 50 most attractive bodies in the entire Watch room. The I'm about to get mad, bro. I'm about to get fucking mad. Why is she there? Why are you there? Come on, bruh. Y'all think she top 50? Keep it a stack. Objectively. Like, this is not, that has nothing to do with my opinion or my preferences, bro. But objectively, you know you're not top 50, bro. But you know what? A part of me is not really, part of me is a little bit upset at the stubbornness. But part of me respects the confidence, bro. Part of me respects it. You know, I, I part of me does respect it. However, for this next round, we're asking you to leave unless you believe you have one of the top 10 best bodies. All right, I'm not gonna lie. If she's still here after this round, I'm gonna get irritated. So, I'm gonna get another mad. 40 people have to leave. Your time starts now. Well, you're talking about how you work out, and I see those abs. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the bad I love how petite you are. Hey, all the bad bitches linked up. Hey, all the bad bitches linked up. Thank you so much. I feel like everyone was like, well, I'm pretty thin. And I'm like, okay, realistically, in a thousand strangers voting, they probably want like a curvy or girl, I think. Some of the small waist, but skinny, but thick. Yeah. Okay, I actually want to say that I love that we're all melanated and we're all different shades and it's all beautiful. Like, I'm trying to feel better about myself and like She's gain tough. strength. She's gotta be top. Well, if it's just body, she may not be face. Top five, top five, top five, top five, top five. But I think I used that wrong. It's okay, we're learning, it's okay. But I think she's top five in the face, body, may probably not. Compare myself to others, because I feel like a lot of us have even said it, it's just like, we don't feel confident because we don't think someone else is gonna vote for us. And it's like, well, you should think that you're, just just vote for yourself. I feel like, if anything, today should tell you that you should go into modeling. Yeah, yeah, you, you have the highest model. You have, you have the height, you have the body. So how's everyone feeling? Is anyone decided if they're gonna leave this round? I'm gonna leave. I'm decided. Yeah. And I've decided only because I am still finding that love again that I had for my thick and curvy body. And I think definitely I need to get back to that because that's when I was my happiest and that's when yeah. I was my bravest. Right. And I want to be in the entertainment industry. I'm a Broadway girly. Yes. I want to be on Broadway and musicals and be perceived. Yes. And there will always be negative, like innately will be negative perception with my body. But I have to fight against it because yeah. you don't have to fight Okay, wait a minute. But can we do something with... Okay, if you want to fight against that perception, that's perfectly fine. But can we get a new haircut, though? Because if you're going to have this haircut, it's not even shaped up. And I guess you don't want to give off a perception that you like women. So I don't really know. But we got to do something with this hair if you want a different perception. You know, I think that's, like, step one. Like, that's a lot easier than losing weight, getting in the gym. And you're, and you're making it seem as though you can't do that. And if that's what you... Bro... All things are possible to those who believe. So if you don't believe, then that's on you. But let's start with this hair, though. I think we could do a lot better. What's wrong with me? Okay, guys, it looks like time's running out, so people need to start to leave. Damn, they sent in the bad bitches home. They sent in the bad bitches home. Pretty a little baddie. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, wait. This is my preference. The people whoa, so he sneaked off to the side and didn't press the button and thought nobody would see. Why did she think nobody would see that? Like, what did you... There's cameras everywhere. Why did you think you was low right here? The people who were leaving didn't all look the same. So then I started to question myself a bit. I'm not gonna lie. I got bullied into staying at some point because everyone around me was, like, so encouraging. Like, you can't leave. I got straight up told, like, you can't. I think it's... I think it's very dangerous when people build you up because people can also build you down at the same time. I, it's a slippery slope. Like, you can't walk around saying nothing that nobody says ever matters. That's not realistic. It's just not. But you can't hang on the every word of every person. So how do you choose? How do you pick and choose to put your confidence in some people but not put your confidence in other people? Um, You know, slippery slope.
not leave. You better stay. And I was like, you know what? You're right. Let, I, I know. I know I have a great body. I should be confident. Her body is tough. Sorry, guys. We still need 11 people to leave. Time is running out. Great. Thank you. I think nine more people have to go. One more person. I'd leave if I could. I don't even feel like these are the top 10 right here. And I don't think it's ridiculous to say that. I think she has a better body than her and her. Maybe I just think she's pretty, bruh. Maybe I just think I'd she's pretty. I'd leave if I could. Because I don't know if I can separate it. There wasn't really a point where I thought I should leave the game today um, you because leave. of the fact that. Nah, your body is fucking amazing. Look at these curves and like nice. B, B, C cup, breast, this, 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 and then you're, you're fucking beautiful, bro. Let's just, let's just call it a spade, a spade, man. Beautiful curves, nice stomach, flat stomach, nice toned ish, not, not masculine, but toned. You know, you have nice abdomen. You just got it going on. Nice legs. Like what, you know what I'm saying? Like you got a whole package. Like if we going to go band for band on the body, Band for band, I don't think she's losing. Give it a stat. Society does like want to have a similar body type of mine, and I am very self-aware in that. So yeah, I did too. feel comfortable and confident to be there yeah, until the top you 10. Should. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, who am I, in my opinion? Comfortable and confident to be there right here, until the top 10. I think... I actually don't know what niggas would have won, so I'm trying to just give it to myself. No, okay, now we're down to our final 10. Somehow we did it. <laughs> All right, everyone, we have made it to the final 10, but I just want to say that I'm, I'm really impressed with everyone's bravery and that you all are so beautiful. So thank you for participating in this. You guys are the 10 that believe you have the best bodies in the entire room, but we do have to narrow it down to just one person. So one by one, let's go around the group and discuss who you would like to nominate to be the one. I would say that as of right now, like I would vote what's all. I just know that America, they like curvy, they like the slim. You have both of that. So. Yeah, she's like, I tough. feel like no body type is ever right, but like if I was to go off of like who people would vote online, I would say what's all as well. Thank you. Um, I think currently what is, you know, trendy is kind of a bodies. slim, thick body, body, body type. Um, so I would say Sandy Siwe. Body, body, body. As like an African-American woman, it is known to be like curvier and it is kind of more on trend these days. So I'm gonna say Sandy. Yeah, I agree with what everybody's saying. Um, I think I would go with Sandy Siwe just because she has like the perfect body type. So. <laughs> you guys are like, <laughs> you guys are gonna make me cry. Um, I mean, I don't really know much about American body standards. I didn't grow up in America. What I've learned so over time is that American body standards are constantly changing. It's whatever is mm. trending. Like you guys said, the slim, thick look is the thing, which is also why I think, girl, Thank you. I don't Thank know you. your name. What's all? What's all? Thank you. You, you have, you have that thing. I also think that was all. Thank you. Yeah. Like I'm trying to look at it as just what is never leaving, what is always in, and I'm what is always leaving. going to be like treasured or valued. Health. And that is why I'm going to pick Ebb. I've never seen a body that is just so proportionate. Yeah, her so body is banging. Bang, bang, <laughs> bang. I would say it's myself. Thank you. I think, Body. like Bang. she said, um, Ebony has just a very timeless mm -hmm. physique. Yeah, but I think, so. I just want to shout out every single girl here. They're all so beautiful. Yeah, Everyone has fit the body out. standard at least at one point in their life right. and will continue to. It looks like you guys have reached a consensus and the person with the most votes is Wasal. So everyone else can leave the group and it's time to find out if Wasal is the one. So how do you feel right now? I feel good. The chosen I feel one. grateful. 
Um, I feel you are appreciated. The chosen and one. it's a weird thing being here because in the most, most, most humble way, I could say it makes sense. But I also have seen multiple women here that have beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bodies that are also the standard to what society looks like. So that would also all make sense. But at the end of the day, like, I'm just happy to have a healthy body that moves and does what I need to do. And I'm just grateful. All right, you guys have made your choice. It's time to find out if Wasal is the one. All right, Wasal, if the light turns green, you are the one. And if the light turns red, it means that somebody else in this group is the one. Let's change the light in three, two, one. Damn! No, it's rigged! It's rigged! This is rigged! If I look at it, do I have to show it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hell yeah, shawty. Did I see that shit, poor nigga? She gotta be top 20. Mini mop! Mini mop! Top 20! Lucky number 13. Hey. When I first got here, I looked okay. around and I saw a sea of beautiful women with beautiful bodies. So Bad I'm grateful bitches. to be in the top. I'm grateful to be in any part of it. So, well, so all that means you are not the one. So let's find out who the one really is. So please step forward, Sandy Seaway. Oh, look at her. Sonny Seaway, you were just named the one. How are you feeling right now? I see that you're kind of emotional. Yeah. I mean, like a lot of people here, I have a weird relationship with my body. Um, I grew up in South Africa, a majority, like there's a lot of white people and I went to a majority white school. I wasn't the standard there. So that impacted the way I looked at myself for a long time and I never thought I had like a desirable body until I, I moved here. And when I moved to the US, I felt so much love from like black women in the US. I stopped thinking about my thighs all the time. It used to be such a huge insecurity. I have um, an Audi <laughs> and I, I used to worry so much about like people being able to see my stomach. And it was like things like that, where I started realizing some of like the things I didn't like about my body were just irrational. There were things that were beautiful, things that other people were seeking out. And instead of looking down on my body, I should be grateful for what I have. And the fact that I have a functioning body in the first place, praise and I God. have a body Literally. that I praise know God. is desirable. Literally, it, praise thank God. You. Literally. <laughs> But a fact, no, cause that shit is slept on. He's like, no, you gotta be grateful. No, I ain't kidding. Got... Bro, do you know the privilege that you have to be able to have a body that can walk, that can move, that can run, that can jump, bro? Literally praise God for that, bro. Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, I'll be insecure about my teeth and shit like that. Cause they not like, you know, all the way white. They're not really, they're not really white, you know, they're very stained, but they're healthy. You know what I'm saying? Like, what more can I ask for? I'm in peak health, bro. There's nothing wrong with me. Is my aesthetic not exactly the way I want it? No, but whatever. We can fix that. And even if we can't, bro. Even if we can't, bro. I ain't never had a cavity. I ain't never had none. I have never had anything wrong, bro. I'm grateful, bro. I'm grateful. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for being here. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on The One. Bow, bow. Thank you, Johan. Thank you, Johan. Anybody alive in that pool?